Hi guys, I'm Mark. I'm Penny. And we are the Oyster Boys, and today we're going to be... We've got a feet for you. <laughs> we're going to be finding out if you can make Schneider Weiss Tap 7, the original. original Weiss beer, at home. You kept the price tag on as well. I did, yeah, because otherwise, I, every time I forget the price, I've just come off mine, it's still yeah. was 275, but we'll get to that. Oops, yeah. we'll get to that. Um, I don't even know how much ours cost, actually. Um, Magic of editing, we'll find out later. So ours cost this much? Yeah, yeah, yeah about, that. about that. Okay, um, we are going to have to stop. I was supposed to do the price. Yeah, I know, we're going to have to stop at some point anyway, but any, either way, either way. Right, let's, let's get through the bits and we'll find that out in a bit. So, um, we got a book off eBay called Clone Brews, Recipes for 200 Commercial Beers by Tess and Mark Zamatolsky. Yeah, well um, done, well done. <laughs> we've decided to go through it and see how good some of these recipes are. Tell you. I mean, yeah. Well, Jim Koch said, how did they get my great-grandfather's personal recipe for Samuel <laughs> Adams' Boston Lager? <laughs> Who knows? They Please. got it. They got it. They got it. So, I think we've already had a bit of a video at the start talking about how we're going to do. You think? I think. Maybe, I'll tell you what, if we haven't, I'll put it here. Talking about how we're going to make Schneider Weiss. Hi guys, I'm Mark. I'm Penny. And we are the Oyster Boys, and today we are going to be making uh, Schneider Weiss original, tap seven. Yes, tap seven. From the book Clone Brews, Recipes for 200 Commercial Beers by Tess and Mark Zamatulski. Zamatulski. Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> if you're Tess or Mark Zamatulski, we're pronouncing your name wrong, please let me know in the comments <laughs> down below. Well, I mean, we, we made the Erdinger, didn't we, after I was proven wrong that you can make a decent wheat beer uh, as a home brew. Yep. So we're going full on for the Schneider Weiss and, uh, and giving it a bit of a whirl. Which is, uh, you know, it's a beer that I really like. We've not reviewed it yet, I don't think, no, have we? No, not yet. But it's one that we really enjoy. Um, do you want to talk us through what's going into it? Yeah, sure. So, well, the base, the base malt is just your, your classic best malt Pilsner. Yep. So, and then we've got the Wayman's acidulated malt because i do think it's got that sort of acidity, acidity taste in the uh schneider weiss we've also got 142 crisp crystal and 170 crisp dark munich malt because it is one of the darker beers so it's always yep. i always find it gives like a fudgy sweetness taste to it and then obviously you've got 250 grams of your wayman's wheat malt pale yep and i think the yeast which i've not got out on the table because it's still in the fridge is the 3076 bavarian blend smack pack Yep, uh, uh, Tetnang Pellets 220, so not much. Hoppage. 22, yeah. not 220. 220 would be ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, sorry, 22. Um, and it's, so, it's only bittering hops as well, isn't it? Just straight, straight in, 90 minute boil, uh, crack a lack on and see what you get. Yes, and then obviously we've just got our oat husks because wheat beers, notorious, difficult for your sparge, so yep. just to make our lives a bit easier. It reduces the drinking time because at the end with the cleaning, it just the equipment goes everywhere, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if we've got an hour and a half sparge and we're just supping beers in the sunshine. So a um, little bit of history. So they actually acquired one of the oldest uh, wheat beer breweries in Munich. Uh, and then they also have one in Kelheim. So it's Bavarian beer. And then after the World War II, uh, the Munich brew is actually bombed. So they then moved all their production to Kelheim, and from that, the Americans actually granted them the rights to brew beer, but on two, uh, for, uh, de what's it called, two points, it had to be a low alcohol beer, and they could only supply it to military personnel. Wow. So, but obviously it's changed now, family owned, um, and they're sort of, I don't know, the, the ones that made wheat beer popular again, really, I guess, aren't they? So, yeah. um, 10 different types of beer that they do, the different taps, uh, so there's nine ones that you can get all year round, then usually have the tenth one is usually a seasonal one. So and this is, like we said, it's tap seven, the original. When are we going to have a day where we try and review all of them in one go? That'll be a good day. Yeah, that'll be a good day. So um, maybe that's what we should do. We should set aside when we review this, and then the other ten beers can just all be the taps. <laughs> so um, That'd be pretty good. But uh, I think we're probably going to go and get this mashed in now. Yeah. Um, we'll show you some footage of us doing that. If you want to take a minute, just if you're not subscribed already, click subscribe, smash like, tell a friend, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, let's go make beer. Yeah, let's do it. Right, you ready to get stirring? Yeah, yeah. 
So, I reckon we just get it in the glass. Yeah. And see. So, we've got real Schneider Weiss and Oyster Weiss. Oyster Weiss. I yeah. like that. Oyster Wheat. <laughs> I don't know uh, how these are going to be. So this be. is from the keg, isn't it? This Obviously is from the from the from the, from the keg, um, done with a tap cooler little bottle. Of what PSI thing. you got this bad boy on? It was at twenty four, but okay. I don't know how much of that carbonation will have stayed in it when it's gone into the. Uh, Looks pretty good to me. Bottle. Let's oh. See. Because unfortunately we weren't, we didn't plan it very well. Because Penny was telling me he didn't have the um, bottling equipment, yeah, you, when actually he did have it at his house. Really fucked me around on that one. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, not like you asked me days before, though, is it? <sighs> <That's your bell-end. laughs> it looks such a muddy beer when you pour it, doesn't it? I know, I know. It reminds me of fudge. Yeah. So much murk. That's a bad pour by me again. I'm so bad at this today. I mean, wow, right. it does really. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ooh, God. I suppose the difference is, right, that the commercial one has got yeast in the bowl. And yeah. Our, and ours hasn't because we bottled it from a keg. Bottle so. condition, isn't it? Yeah. So that's bottle conditioned. Ours has been conditioned keg in the keg. Uh, I mean, with that in mind, I think ours looks nicer. Yes. Because this does not look like it. Looks like the, yeah, uh, you know, when you get the cola flavoured. Uh, ice what, pops. Milk. Cold flavored milk is what that yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, you you give yours a good old roll where up mine's a bit but less. But I mean you get the uh, you we, get the we've had it on draft it. before and it's it, it, When it you is, get it in a pub, Schneider Weiss kinda of looks like that. Yes. Right, when you get it on draft in a pub. We're lucky that we've got a pub down the road from us that sells Schneider Weiss. Used Schneider to sell on. it, it's not on draft last oh, time we went, mate. remember? Really? Mm. And Baron Billet doesn't have Erdinger anymore on draft. Not good. What's the world Guys. Uh, anyway, so, I mean, normally we'd, we'd look and we'd compare, wouldn't we? Does it look like the original one? Okay, well, uh, <laughs> does it? Uh, uh, come on. I mean, no, if it I was know, coming out yeah. like a lager, then we'd be worried, wouldn't we? Yes, we would, yeah. yeah <laughs> it's, yeah. it's cloudy. It's got that sort of, uh, like, sort of wheat coffee tea sort of tinge to it. Um, you know, I'd, I, I'd give that a seven. Ours? Well, yeah, a seven. Yeah, so that's this, the, the, these ones are... Have I poured it in the wrong glasses? Oh. Yeah, yeah, but that's definitely the... Yeah, that's a Schneider Weiss. Schneider Weiss, and that's Oyster Weiss. Yes. Uh, yeah, a, seven, a seven's fair. And, yes. and knowing what I know about how it's like when I haven't had this in the freezer on its side because I need to cool it down in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, at least, you know, um, when that Butte commented about the different glass sizes, the different glasses it affects the colour, well... I've, I've, we've mixed them up now, so yeah. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Oh yeah, sure you did, but yeah. So seven's fine, but let's give them a sniff, because yes. it should be yeah, at least similar on that one, so. Okay. So what, what? I'm sniffing the original first, so that yeah, I can see what I'm comparing it to, yeah? Ooh. It, smells, it smells amazing. Right, let's be honest, right? I love it's like toffee and wheat beer mix. It's like a toffee and banana, just. Okay, and then we'll dive in on the oyster vice. I definitely get less from ours. Yeah, uh, yeah, 100%. And again, I think that's because we haven't got the yeast. Uh, I, I always said yeah. this, right? And I said when we did the uh, wine Stefana Cristal, I remember saying with that one, you lose so much by not having the yeast in it. But I do get it you when, do get now, it when, get it, when now you, it's come in. Yeah, when you, and the smell that I do get is the same. Yeah. It's, uh, it's that got that fudginess with the bananas. Yeah. I think if we bottle conditioned ours, we'd probably be closer. But I mean... Is you it, do really have to smell it, but is it, the it same? is there. It is there. Is it the same smell? Yes. Is it as intense? No. No. Okay. So I'd probably give it a six. Yeah, 6.5 for me. Yep. Okay. Now, uh, I'd love to pretend I haven't tried this before, but I have. So I'm going to say cheers. Cheers. Hey, cheers to everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. That's so good. That's icy cold as well, that, isn't it? Woo! <sighs> Moment of truth. Cheers. Cheers. Mate. <laughs> that is so close. It's close, it's just not as intense, is yeah. it? Yeah, it's just... It, it just needs that volume turning up. 
but it's there. It's yeah. I reckon if we use that same recipe, but just shot lower on the volume. Yes. You know, and just got everything a little bit more concentrated in it. Yeah. So I think, I think it was probably to make 19 litres that batch. If you, you just use the exact same ingredients, and just made 18 litres. Yeah. Do you know the strength? Uh, I think it was about 5.5. Right. Well, this is 5.4, so you're pretty much there or thereabouts. Yeah. So it's, it is just that, isn't it? It's just, it's not watered down, it's just lacking that wheaty punch. Yeah. But you can definitely, I mean, right, this is what I say. If Maybe you that went, is right, because it's not a, bottle conditioned. <clears throat> if you went to a pub and you ordered a pint of Schneiderweiss on draft. And you got that. And you got that. You would not know. No, that's how close it is. But it's only because we're literally, I've got them side by side, haven't we? Yeah. It's like when you get the, um, you know, the colour chart. You know, when you yeah. pick your paint and then you go, is that the same? And you go, no, it's not the same. That's not... <laughs> and then when you look next to each, it's only when you look next to each other, you see those slight differences. It's the same with that. But... <sighs> oh, I mean, God. I could, that is... I can, you know what? We'd never used acid malt before. Mm. And once I actually thought about it, the flavour of this. It's so similar, honestly. Yeah. <clears throat> once I thought about the flavour and I went, yeah, acid malt, okay, yeah. You do get that sort of slight acidity and that's got it. Yeah, and that's and 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 it would be it, if it didn't have it, it'd be a massive, you know, piece that's missing. But it, it's you know, mm. yeah. Mm. I'll it's, put a link in the description down below for the ingredient pack for this because we've got it saved as well, yeah. Mark Miller, haven't we? So if you click down there, oh, the burp line is out in full. Oh, mate! Right. Well, it's got to be, and it? it's a week. Yeah, twenty-four. Twenty-four. If it's PSI not jumping over keg. this fence, I don't know what's happening. Yeah. The twenty-four psi on the keg, which, if you hadn't guessed, is a fucking nightmare to pull. <laughs> right, especially because I, I've got one of those flow control taps, mm. um, and because of that, I've sh really shortened my beer line so I can pour quickly, yeah. um, which is fine when you're doing like ten psi or fifteen psi if it's a lager. When you get to really high really high carbonation for a wheat beer it is horrible yeah. trying to pour that thing so uh, i think i'm gonna change my setup now i've got a new fridge offloaded the old one <laughs> that might hand me down aren't i <laughs> hand me down on Jun junior brewer hand me down <laughs> that, that you made me <laughs> nice isn't it um but yeah well, sorry where, where are we up to um do you think maybe in the future that if we're going to test bottle conditioned beer, we should bottle condition? Yeah, we something? should. We probably should, shouldn't we? We should. It's just... We want or what we should beers, do is it? we should take one of these down to the pub that serves it on draft and we'll just crack one open. <laughs> 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 Taste-wise, I mean, that's... That's oh, so good. For a wheat beer at your own house. And, and this is... It's a know, nine. It's a nine. Yeah, it's it so is good. a nine. Yeah. It is a nine. It's so good. And it's a beer that, I mean, what, we know two shops in Chester there's probably one more that we know that sell it yeah and, and we're a city so you could be in a town that you might not even be able to get this and to brew this similar at home yeah is, it's, me is mega it is mega and, and and the thing is as well I, I, I'd say even if you haven't tried Schneiderweiss you don't know what Schneiderweiss is you don't want to try it right, just try this recipe yeah um, because it is fantastic yeah if you like wheat beers oh go for it really really go for it yeah uh, yeah yeah it's, it's, I don't know if, if you were to give that someone that does, that didn't know much about wheat beers or about, or, 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 and it, they got that though. <laughs> what do you think they'd be like, oh my God, look at this, it's all murky and stuff like that. Is it supposed to look like this? <laughs> I mean, they're not going to be clear, <laughs> Don't give they? it to him, just save it for yourself. Though. Yeah, if you bottle conditioned yours, it will look like this one. Yeah. Murky, because you yeah, whip maybe up Maybe it might be a bit more intense in flavour as well, restarting the yeast. I mean, I'm, I'm going to brew this one again. Let's be honest. Yeah. It's, it's not, this is not a one-off brew. And when we next brew it, I think we should bottle condition it. Yeah. And try and be like true yeah. to the thing. And maybe we could do one, you know, keg conditioned, cut back to this video, yeah. versus bottle conditioned Schneider Weiss clone. Yes. Because, I, I, yeah, I have, bottled, I have bottled the Erdinger. Yeah. But I preferred it on draft. How much was it? <laughs> it was £21.97. 27. 27. £21.27. 20. For 19 litres, or 37-ish pints, should we say? So about 60p a pint. Yeah. Ish. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> 60p a pint. 
Yes, please. Yeah, and, and the bulk of that, like you said before, was the, was the yeast, because the yeast was about £10, wasn't it? Yeah. Which is so important with this, isn't it? Because there's not, there's not much hoppage. So. And that's why you get so much of the flavour comes from the yeast in a wheat beer, um, and obviously the wheat malt, and the acid malt, and well, all there of it. So, it, all, it, all really, it was together, so it? complex. Yeah. You had crystal malt, uh, no, Munich dark malt in there and everything. There was a lot of going into it. It was a really interesting recipe, wasn't it? Um, uh, to get something like that out there. Um, and, and the beers... You know, uh, probably shouldn't take into account, but they're so rare to try and find as well that oh. something just landed in yours, isn't it? I know, and it had to be this side of ice. Yeah. I, I'm going to say 9.5 for price. Oh, it's definitely god tier nine for me. Yeah. Nine, nine, and sessionability five and a half percent. Tastes incredible, really easy to drink, very fizzy. Yeah, if you really go wheat beer and carbonation levels on it, you know me, I'm a pro at the drinking the wheat beer. I do find these a bit. More heavier. It's yeah. almost halfway between the dark ones, the dunk is it the dunkel? Yeah. And and, and the regular, isn't it? I think actually uh, beers of Europe actually class Tap Seven Original as a dunkel. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The uh, only dunkel we've ever reviewed, I did not like. Link no, that, that, that wasn't dunkel, that wasn't yeah. a wheat one, was it? That was an out beer, so that was the old style, so it was not for me. Uh, <laughs> but sessionability though, uh, I think I would give this uh, at least, I mean, less than a lager because the wheat beers are yeah. kind of a bit like, you know, a bit much sometimes. But I'd give it a, uh, a 6.5. It was a 7 for me, being yeah. the wheat fiend I am, which is, you know, 7 pints. Have you heard yeah. of any trains go past? Because I haven't heard one yet. Yeah. Okay. There it goes. <laughs> Some wheat train riding all day oh, long. Right, mate. <coughs> well, I think that's it, really. I think, uh, yeah, that is. Well, we've got to do the score. Can we put the score on a wheat train, making it move? Can a wheat train bring the score in? Yeah, can we, can we, can we toot it in? You ready? Yep. Choo -choo! There's the score. There it goes. That's some nice editing for you to do. <laughs> Smash like, hit subscribe, tell a friend. Try this beer. M make this beer. Link in the description yeah. down below to buy it. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for us now. So uh, catch you on the next one, guys. Yep. Oysters out.